Did you know that jazz music was originally dance music? That's right. And today we're going to talk about the big band, making everyone dance. Ari, would you like to say something about the big band and how sure. they make everyone dance? Sure. So as Alvin said, the big bands were originally for dancing. In the 1930s, everyone in America was dancing to swing music, big band music. That meant if you were rich or poor or whatever community you belonged to, everybody was working all week so they could go out on a Friday and Saturday night and go dancing. So the whole point of the big band was to make people dance. And even though some of the arrangements were very complicated and very sophisticated, the beat was always there so that the people could dance to it. And that's what we have to remember. Nowadays, there are a lot of big bands that it's, you go to hear a big band and it's for listening. You sit in your in an auditorium and you have a concert program and you just listen. But the whole point of the big band music is to make people dance. So when you play, you got to have that in mind from the first beat to the last beat of the whole set, okay? It's not worth anything unless it makes people tap their feet or want to dance. So we're going to play a quick song now. From beat one, we're coming out like an explosion, okay? Because we want people off their chairs and dancing. Okay, here we go. Ready, guys? Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. I want. Two, oh, one, two, three, four. <laughs> That's the feeling you want. No matter what tempo it is, no matter how loud or soft the music it is, or the texture of the music, as a rhythm section, you come out there and you get people dancing. That felt really good. I was even dancing behind the drums. <laughs> now we were keeping a strong four pulse there. Dum, 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 dum. But what would we do in it if we're dancing in like maybe a two beat feel? Well, that's a good question, right? A lot of dancing, is in two, right? We don't always, especially at a fast tempo, we don't dance one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, right? A lot of it's in two. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So musically, sometimes we play a two beat feel. So now we're gonna take a, a nice song that we can really do a sweet two step. And notice the interaction between the bass, guitar, and the drums, and how we articulate this two beat feel. One, two, a one, to the end. That was very nice, <laughs> a nice two beat. Now, you'll notice that from the drum perspective, I'm connecting with the bass more specifically. Boom, ba boom, ba boom, ba boom, boom, boom. And it sounds like James is really keeping this four pulse going, but there's some different articulations going on. James, can you speak to us on how you are articulating a little differently in the two beat versus the four? Right. The four beat, it's more focused towards keeping that solid pulse for the dancers, just that even four beat pulse. But on a two, just as he's playing a longer downbeat and beat three, and maybe a little shorter release on two and four, 
I'm, I'm matching the length of my stroke just like he's playing those notes there and with Alvin on his uh, ride cymbal. So, versus pl uh, playing it four. And then in two, a one and two. And again, I mix it up so it's not constantly the same all the way through, otherwise your fatigue sets in, oral fatigue. So we're constantly trying to keep that beat moving forward, but without speeding up. So now everybody, you heard the four and you heard the two beat feel. And we were constantly focusing on making everyone dance. And sometimes it's really helpful when we have dancers. And <laughs> while we're playing, we're really playing to get them to really dance and step together. So that was the concept for today. Big band is music for dancers. We dance in a strong four, and then we did a little two-step. So we have Mr. Ari Rowland on the bass, James Cirillo on guitar. My name is Alvin Atkinson. We'll catch you next time.